welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. All right. Let me see. There's a bunch of stuff I can do. I'm gonna get this tower, I think, to begin with. It's just over there. Probably not a bad idea. I'll be wearing this just because it's easier to sneak up on stuff. Yeah, that. There's probably a car up here. It's a bridge. There's always one at a bridge. Hmm. Surprising. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh. Does not look like there's any others. going into the underground. Uh, I did it yesterday. I just got the stuff from Koga and then just let it be. I haven't decided what I'm going to do today. Probably resolve some side quests. Yeah, I went as far as getting uh, the Sheikah Slate stuff. I keep calling it a Sheikah Slate, but you know, the, the pad. trying to do. I need to collect more of these things. Yeah, I got the uh, Hero's Path thing now. The only one I don't have is the medallion, the travel one. Because that requires going to Akala, which I have not done yet. I mean, it was interesting to see just how it looks. I mean, the path I've followed so far. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, I was considering going to Elden today, potentially.
how. Keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, that's that's this game. <laughs> it's just everything. You try to go somewhere and you run into like ten different things along the way. And what should be a ten minute journey, it's like six hours, if not more. Oh, that's like in a base. Yeah, I'm not really interested in fighting these things. I'm good. It's the president! Okay, I'm gonna have to fight this one at least. Wait, what am I using? Should be using. I'll use this. Okay. What? Oh, I see. It's like. Supposed to make a shelf with this. It's a shelf. As long as I can stand on it. That's the president standing. <laughs> okay. Oh. That was a quick one. Ah. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Okay. This and then the tower. I just can't believe I've only fought one boss, and yet it feels like I've done a lot, but it's just one boss. It's not like I've explored every area properly. Fix device. Oh, I got impatient. Okay. Should have waited. Okay. Get out of here. Hey, call around the house going. Hang on. 
is it trying to get me to do here? Target. Oh, okay. I see. It's... Friday and you got to the Lost Woods. I haven't even done that. Congrats. Okay, there. Do I need to put something to stop it as well? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's just gone now. That didn't... That did not... work. Oh. Well, that changes things. You hate the underground. There's something in particular. Not, uh being nice. Wait, you just got killed by someone never thought would kill you. Oh. Sounds like me and Breath of the Wild. I think I died to practically everything you could die to in that game. I'm just trying to sink it into this thing. But it's being annoying. It's trying to latch it onto here, and I don't want it to do that. There we go. Sort of. Crazy. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, now let me just test it. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> you called it what? Tekka. I haven't seen Moana, so... I guess because of the sound it makes. Oh, there you go. 
It's locked. Okay. Oh, it doesn't go through that. That's interesting. This should work, though. And then just... do that. Wasn't too bad. Oh. Oh no, never mind. It has a roof. I was gonna say. Ah, oh, that's that's underwhelming. They've put roofs over everything, so you, you can't do what you used to be able to do and cheese most of them. Okay. do I put on weapons? Uh, I mean, the Talus Heart is probably one of the better ones to get. Just tech down a Talus and you get its heart. Or that robot thing you fought in the sky. And then some of the new ones have just been Lionel parts. But, I mean, you, you kind of work your way up. You do the boss in the sky. Then you can probably beat a Talus or a Hinox. And then you use those to beat a Lionel or something. But, I mean, an easy one, the Horoblins are not bad. They're not too hard to beat, and they give decent, decent items. If you want a good cave to go to to fight them, uh, it's like here. No, wait, not here. Where is it? Yeah, this cave here. It's like the Great Plateau. Just on the edge of it, there's a cave, and then there's a shrine. But you go through the cave, and there's just a bunch of them there. You put amiibos on yours. That's cheating! Cheating! Pay to win! my sneak strike.
Holy shit. Can I do this? Can I do this? <gasps> Ooh. That was close. <laughs> now I have your power. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice that's a nice item to get. That's a new one. Okay, where's my sneak strike sword? That one. Confused really easily. Spike ball, uh, fell and just blew everything up, so that wasn't great. How much is it worth? This is 14. Uh, I mean, it's not that great. Okay, I thought it'd be better. I didn't want to blow stuff up. I was just unlucky. Well, at least I can survive an explosion now. Wow. 
These don't break that easily. Hammer? Yeah, hammer. May as well. But they're gonna come back when there's a blood moon, so... See something immediately to the left. Yes, okay. I mean, I might go back to the starting island at some point. Okay, uh, let's just quickly... Where am I looking? <laughs> it's too late now. I guess here. Sure. Is this even anything? It's a lonely tree here. Okay, hang on. Is this a Korok? Lower golden on lower. <laughs> I'm saving just in case. I feel like if it was one, it would be more obvious than that. I have yet to see the one with the apples. Or maybe I've only seen one. Hmm. Hmm. That's it? Okay, well, there's a... Uh... Is this another diving one? Let's get it. Hey. <laughs> Any fun plans for the weekend? Ah, uh, not this weekend. Gonna catch up with a friend. But other than that, just gonna chill. It's been a long ass week. It's, uh, it's very rainy and miserable at the moment, so it's gonna be like that all weekend.
But yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Stay at home and watch One Piece. I mean, I might watch a bit of it, but. It's just, yeah, I mean. It's all rainy the whole weekend. Yeah, that was close. Why did I think this is something? Oh, you call around up to anything interesting once your Friday's done. Why is there nothing here? Get to clean the house and do everyone's laundry. I mean, compared it, comparing it to work. So much fun awaits. Yeah, I mean, what do they say on TV shows? You can make a game out of that and you try to beat your high score every time. That's such bullshit. <laughs> Whoever says that. I mean, at least you'll get to play this at some point, right? <laughs> I'm very surprised there's nothing here. Is there any other island? They're all above me. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess. Because that's the starting one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the starting island. Okay, there is another one over there. But I would have to commit rockets to it. <sighs> Alright, fine. I could. I guess I've saved. Let me save. Oh shit, no, cancel. Oh, whoops. I mean, that's fine. I guess I can... Suppose it'll help. I was trying to get the steering wheel out. to get daughter to learn to fold clothes. That's the last part of laundry. I mean, I used to do that as a kid. I used to have to put it on the clothes hanger outside as well. All that stuff. Got a certain point, yeah. Didn't put it to wash, but definitely folded everything. 
My mom was like, all right, come get your laundry and then we just do it ourselves. What age did I start? Uh, I started at about the age of eight. But that was because younger brother. And then another two came along. So then... I, uh, yeah. I helped out a bit more sooner. What's that sound? Oh. Wow. Damn, Chulin's on point. Yeah, I was like... By the time I was 12, I was, like, doing other stuff as well. It's fun being the older sibling. In some parts, yes. In other parts, no. This is not worth it. I'm gonna be so disappointed. There's a chest here. Okay, but that can fall to safety. Let's just see what's up here first. How? Oh. Not this. It's been a while since I've seen these. That's what it's doing, it's shooting rockets at me. She needs to start doing it with you, it's time, she's lazy. Yeah, and you don't, I guess... Don't wait too long. Let's just say I know people that live at home and they're like... In their 20s. Not that there's anything wrong with that, that's fine. But they won't do their own laundry. And that's just, come on, man. She's only seven. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a bit on the young side. I mean, with me, it was just, I guess, getting to help out sooner. And because, you know, my parents were still used to, I guess, how things are, where they came from, um, that's like the age you should be starting to work and do stuff, so... Whereas in my younger brothers, they were a bit older before they started, so, like, they were at least double digits. But, uh, me and the brother underneath, directly underneath me in terms of age, yeah, we started pretty early. <laughs> Hello, Messiah, how's it going? Ah, uh, is there really nothing up here? Socks are the worst, are they? I don't know. I kind of like pairing them together and rolling them up. Maybe I'm weird. Mm. 
What's over that way? This has been a colossal waste of time so far. I don't want to waste any more things. Let's just settle for whatever this is. Maybe I overcomplicated it. Maybe there is an easy way to get up. Oh, you know what? Okay. I mean, I, the way I remember it starting, and it's very vague memories, so I'll, I'll put that disclaimer, was that my mom would get me to help, it, like, every now and then. Not always. And then, eventually, it was just, uh, almost every time, and then it's like, okay, you're doing this every time. And then eventually my siblings joined in on it. It was like, okay, come come get your clothes. Go put your clothes away. They would be folded and all that. And then from there it was like, alright, fold your stuff. Grab here's your clean clothes, go fold it. Which I think was good in the end. Okay, uh, there's a shrine all the way over there. <laughs> I have to check this out. What is this? Ancient Arowana. New fish. Wait, I'm wearing stealth clothing. I should be able to just... Can't wait to get to that point. What less person's laundry to do would be nice. It'll, it'll be a while. But I guess the main thing is to get the process started. I mean, I'm not a parent, but like... I saw what my mom did with like four boys, so... And I had to take care of my brothers as well. So I'm somewhat prepared. Okay, I, I guess I have a b better baseline than some. What do these do anyway? It restores health. Okay, so nothing exciting. I guess if I want to make food that heals. I went to, uh, like, get snacks, 
and some groceries. And they're trying new tactics with the potato chips. I mean, before they were trying to sell the bags, it's just, you know, six dollars per bag. And now they have these tags on them. They make it look like they're on special, but it's like two for twelve dollars. It's like that's six dollars each still. What are you what are you trying to pull here? <laughs> two for twelve dollars. But yeah, six dollars a bag. I'm not buying them. Thank you for doing basic math for me. It's not a sale, I know. They, they've, they've been doing quite a bit of that lately. <sighs> Potato chips are insanely expensive right now. I did go to another, another small supermarket and they were four dollars twenty, a bag, which, still more expensive, than, uh, than last year, like. If you're paying f over four dollars a bag, that what you, you're talking about gas station prices, you know, just inflated. But man, I've had a long week, and I, I just I really wanted just a bag of my favorite chips. So what the f how, what what how huh? How's this refilling? Oh, the top pool. Right. Which ones are my favorite? They're these kettle cooked chips, uh, chili flavor, but it's effectively like salty and then jalapeno. So it's like, it's good. It's just salty and spicy. That's pretty much it. Another sage as well. I don't know why I said jalapeno. Jalapeno! Say it properly. ¿Por qué estás hablando como... Alguien que no puede hablar español bien. Translation, why are you talking like someone that can't speak Spanish properly? I can just hear that already from like my grandma or my mother. Ah. Uh, where do I go from here? Just, I feel that this has been... Uh, okay, like, I did get something out of this. It's just... Hey, Heavy. Thanks for the raid, how's it going? Okay, I'm gonna have to take flight. Oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I was super confused by that message, and then it's like, oh, the nine months. Thank you for the nine months, Evie. I've had a long day, so it took like a minute for that to click. I was like, what? Can't watch for spoilers, no? All good, Clive. I completely understand. Did I finish the old Korok run for Breath of the Wild? Yes, sir. Three hearts all the way. Completely naked. All 900 Koroks. Yeah. Um, the DLC, Trial of the Sword. And the, uh, the ballad thing. <laughs> Trial of the Sword, just, man. <laughs> Ugh, that was rough. But I got it done. With, what, with less than one day to spare. So... This is more of a laid-back playthrough. I'm not doing anything challenging, I'm just playing. So... You'll lurk for a bit while you go eat. No worries, Evie. All good. 
Trial of the Sword was just the one floor. Pretty much. The rest of it was fine. What's X out of rating for Tears of the Kingdom so far? Uh, Alright. If I was to put it alongside all the other Zelda games, being, you know, 9 and 10 out of 10, we're talking A Link to the Past, right? And Ocarina. Whatever your top Zelda games are. So far, this is like eight and a half. It's not quite up there with those, but I haven't experienced everything yet. It is better than Breath of the Wild in every single regard. Breath of the Wild laid out some scaffolding, and this is pretty much realizing the world that Breath of the Wild left behind, and then some. So, the story is more in depth. You feel more connected to the characters. The side quests actually mean something this time. Which was a huge problem in the original Breath of the Wild game, just... Side quests didn't really mean much, and finding treasure chests was just, uh... Was dumb. You're eight, less than eight hours. There's so far a lot of reliance on the creation tools. Uh... I mean, it depends what you've done. So if you haven't... Without getting too spoilery... At the start, because the starting section is like about four hours, right? So that's half of the time you're taking. Yes, because it's introducing you to the mechanics um, that are new to the game. But then once you start doing the shrines and then you get to the first major area, which by the way um, I would recommend following what they say, but anyway um, once you do the first major area, you'll feel, you'll feel a bit different about it I think. Because then the game hits its stride. It's just... The sky in particular is definitely... Definitely um, leaning towards these constructions, for sure. But on the ground, it's, it's kind of less the case. You heard this, follow the quest pointers. Yes, 100% without question, follow the pointers. I'm not gonna say why, but just... I, I am glad I did, because usually I deviate, and this time... I was like, you know what, they're probably saying this for a reason. I'm gonna just see what happens. If nothing happens, then I'll deviate after the first time. And, yeah. So. I mean, other than that, just, uh... That's it. That's all I gotta say on it without getting too far into it. I'm kind of hanging around here properly just to talk about it without spoiling anything. <laughs> So if I you, it's Breath of the Wild too, but people keep saying this is a major enhancement and keep playing. No, no, yeah. Uh, trust me, Clive, when you get to the first major area and you do the set piece for that area, I'm talking about like, you know, the full quest line, you'll feel different about it, for sure. Um, that's where the game really hits its stride. But granted, like the rest of the world, it's it's an evolution of Breath of the Wild. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but it expands upon it at least. And there's things that, at the very least, are not are nothing like Breath of the Wild. So you'll have fun, I'm sure. You've enjoyed the time so far, but you're looking for a lot more. Uh, yeah, I mean. I think when you when you get to those quests, it, it should be okay. Um, but I mean, you know, the shrine quests are the shrine quests, and then, yeah, afterwards, it's... I don't want to go too far into talking about it, but it might change your mind. I think you'll enjoy, at the very least, the bigger sections of the game. The rest of it is just, yeah, it's a better version of Breath of the Wild. And that's why I'm saying it's it's not quite at the point where... I would put it in the same league as, you know, the most beloved Zelda games. It's still very good. It's just, I'll see how I feel at the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, the gift subs as well. Appreciate that a lot. But yeah, uh, enjoy. If I do see you playing the game, I'll try to, uh, I'll try to pop in. Assuming you're not doing, I'm assuming you won't be doing an area that is new to me, so... 
What's my most beloved Zelda game? Uh, for me, it, it's A Link to the Past. That's just from a childhood memory perspective. Um, and then... Favorite 3D one is Twilight Princess. I know people are going to disagree. Why not Ocarina of Time? And the simple reason is I didn't have a Nintendo 64 growing up. I did play Ocarina a little bit, but not to the point where, you know, I have the high nostalgia for it. And so Twilight Princess for me, it has a different level of nostalgia because it was the first 3D Zelda game that I owned. Um, it was the first console that I purchased you know, having a part-time job, right? And being able to afford a console for the first time at launch. We always had previous generation consoles growing up. So, playing Twilight Princess when the Wii came out was just, it was a different experience for me. And that's why I hold it, I guess, dearly. And that's what it is. It's like some of it, the ranking is just your personal connection to the game sometimes will will matter more. How does Wind Waker rank? So Wind Waker I only played recently because I didn't have a GameCube, um, but I played the HD version and I think it's it's up there. It's, it's not... I need to do a tier list, but uh, I think the HD version is really good. But if we're talking about the original one, I think if I played that, I feel like I would have had issues with it. So this is my reasoning for that, is... The way... The way that game functions in terms of travel traversing the world, it's cool and imaginative. However, if you talk about the original version of the game, I think after about 10 hours, I would have I would have gotten sick of it because it just would have been annoying. I think it, tr it slowly but surely would have gotten a bit uh, tiring to do the, the traversion. Whereas in the HD version, the Wii U version, they added some quality of life stuff that makes that process less tedious. And that cleaned up the game quite a bit. Oh, I do have YouTube, yeah. I do plan on doing it at some point. I just need to make the time. Work's been busy. Um, I want to do a larger discussion because I played through all these games in the lead up to, to Tears of the Kingdom. So all of it's kind of fresh in my mind and I do have my thoughts on it. I, I already know what my least favorite ones in the series are. Like that award has to go to Triforce Heroes and uh, Spirit Tracks, which is one of those games that I think it had potential, but they dropped the ball in many different areas. So those would be like my bottom ranking ones. I think Wind Waker is a decent title. I just would probably rate stuff like a link between worlds and um link's awakening a bit higher not too much higher at least spirit tracks the biggest issue is the 3ds mic doesn't work like it should no nah, but there was other stuff about the game as well confirming like the the big plot point that happens in that game it bothered me without for those that haven't played it without going too deep into it, but it just the major revelation just kind of bothered me. <laughs> I think you know which one I'm talking about, but even when it happened on stream, I was like, wait, really? What? This whole time? Really? Anyway. It tried to be what Majora's Mask was to Ocarina of Time for, uh, Phantom Hourglass, and they just didn't stick the landing. What? Where is this going off? I've been trying to, like, get a, a new channel up where it's less 
just stream highlights and stuff and more discussion things, but I need to make time to work on it. I've been working on a few things, but yeah, I'll get there. Just full-time work and then doing this as well. No, it's this thing over here. Okay, I thought I was pointing at something else. I got distracted by the sound, but it's, it's just this over here. Before this game came out, I, while I was playing Breath of the, Breath of the Wild, I, I said that I didn't rate Breath of the Wild up there, you know? Like, Breath of the Wild is, is a good game, but it I don't think it reaches the pinnacle, you know, of the series. And some of the problems they've addressed in this title a bit and others for the life of me I don't understand why they're still insistent on it <laughs> but yeah we'll see how I feel when this is done it's definitely rated higher than Breath of the Wild I think that goes without saying it's just whether or not this ultimately gets up there with the games that I you know consider just favorites and the best. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, Evie, this one's more... It's got more depth to the combat. You can get more creative with it. So it's not just sword fighting as well. Will there be a Breath of the Wild 3? Maybe. Wait, really? Wait, yeah. Sudoku is never ending. What do you mean you have lots of Sudoku to play? <laughs> Isn't that just... You can't play every Sudoku puzzle. With this game, it's you either play it now to avoid spoilers, or you wait a long time until people have forgotten about it, and then you can play it relatively spoiler-free. Am I waiting for you to leave? Nah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking and kind of doing the thing. It's fine. Wait, what is this? Oh, don't worry about it. This is not major spoil. This is nothing. This is... Don't worry. Yeah, you gotta leave. That's fine. Do it. But, like, don't feel bad about this one. It's not like this was a puzzle. Like, it... When you walk up to it, it says, Hey, bring me the green stone. It's a glowing rock. Like, don't, there's nothing to figure out. It's, hey, I'm gonna draw a line from here to where the rock is. Bring me the rock. And it tells you to do it. So, it's okay. I would be shocked if, like, you could not do this on your own without seeing this, you know? That's just... Yeah. <laughs> when you get to it. You, you'll know, it's like, okay, it's not a spoiler. There's no story here. This is an isolated island, and the objective, it tells you it right away. And it drew a line for me. Just bring it back. And it's probably the easiest one as well, looking at it. I really did not have to do a lot. That being said, this treasure chest here uh, may have a spoiler, so I would recommend, yeah. We uh, bid farewell, but thank you for, uh, for the chat. Surprise and delight, don't worry. If this is on surprise and delight, this is just like a scale of one out of ten.
<laughs> See a Clive. Hold on. <laughs> Didn't one shot anything on Breath of the Wild. Well, now's your chance to uh, redeem yourself. You know what I hear is fun? Just uh, being naked and having three hearts the whole way. That's That's fun. It's too much fun for me. I, I couldn't handle that much more fun. I wonder if I can... Oh. Oh, that might work. That might work. You know, I just realized something. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it just in case Clive is still around, but something just occurred to me. I'll, I'll wait like 10 minutes before I say it. <laughs> That's funny, though. Because I don't want to spoil anything. Oh. No, but I should just be able to... No, I should just be able to open it. Just stab. Stab? What? What do you mean? Really? It has to be... That makes no sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, that makes no sense. Alright, it's another old map. It wasn't too spoilery. Okay, I'm gonna go in the shrine now. <laughs> Clive, cover your ears. But on the topic of spoilers, this whole time, yep. there was a massive spoiler on screen, and I'm just surprised no questions were raised about it. The entire time. But it's okay, I think it just wasn't visible enough, or maybe it just didn't click, but uh, my little bird companion's kind of a spoiler. It's <laughs> just, just a, just a little, just a little bit. Maybe gigantic spoiler. Yeah, I didn't realize it until I started using the ability and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I have one of the biggest spoilers, like, just there on the screen. It's like okay, I don't think Clive noticed, but that's why I didn't, I didn't say anything. Uh, but I think he's in for a treat, especially when he does that area. My ranking of this game is relative to the other Zelda games, but I mean, if you put it out there, just in general, it is it is a really good game. It's like 9 out of 10 so far, but slightly lower score relative to the other Zelda games at the moment. Just, it just depends on how the second area is going to go. 
Because I'm... Whilst I did enjoy the first one, I'm just thinking they might pull what they did with Breath of the Wild and the Beasts, where once you did one of them, they all kind of felt the same. So I'm hoping that's not the case. We'll see. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I'm so glad I got this now. I can plan this out a bit better. Wait, what is that? Is that below me? What is it? What am I looking at? We shoved sufficient noodles into your face. Tired, need to get ready for bed. No worries, Evie. All good. Do appreciate the, uh, the chat and the raid as always. Have a good rest of your night. But you should try this at some point. Like, there's no rush, but I think it's something you would enjoy. Where are the... Hang on. Where are the orbs? <laughs> See ya, Evie. There it is. All right. Oh, whoops. I need more fans and I need more... What did we get? Let's see. Yeah, okay, I got a board. That's good. Steering wheel... I need more fan- I need to get more fans. Try again. <laughs> I see a- few rockets. <laughs> I keep getting wheels. How many wheels do I have? I have 11 wheels. Um... I did not get any new fans, wow. I got rockets, which I guess is fine. I mean, as long as it's something that lets me propel myself, that's fine. That's good enough. All right. Ah, uh, I guess I'm done with this for now. No, okay, it is pointing to underneath me. Oh, cool. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want to fight you. Is it one or two? It's a two. Okay, so I haven't fought this one yet. That too. <laughs> really? Okay. Is that a treasure chest? Why do you have a treasure chest? Okay. Hopefully this will work. It did not, it did not, it did not. Uh oh. 
A bot, a bot, a bot. <laughs> Priorities. Gotta get the treasure. Okay, uh, we, well, I think sneaking is redundant now, so let's, I guess that's the thing. All right, let's swap to combat. Um, that, and we're not in cold weather. We can go, what can we go for helm? I guess nothing's going to offer a benefit. All right, that'll do. Don't need to go heavy on this. Go. Damn it. Attach that to one of the sparkly weapons. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. <laughs> okay. Now there's a hot air balloon. Don't you ever do that in games where there's treasure involved, there's like a boss and then you just run to the treasure first? Or you kill a monster, it drops an item, you get the item drop before finishing the rest of the monsters off. What? It looks like a moon, what is that? Are we going to the moon? This is an airship. It's a hot air balloon, because hot air. It's a blimp. Somewhat of a blimp. A rather inefficient blimp, but a blimp nonetheless, I believe is is the technical term. I know what I know what you're trying to do. Still don't know the lyrics to that song that you're trying to bring up, but still. It's a blimp. Okay. 
Left off. I wanted to sing the Alton John's John song, but I don't want to mention the R word now. The flight word. The flight R word. Hmm. Is this gonna make it? How many ba- okay, hold on. I wanna make this. There we go, new battery put in. Where is it? I haven't gone past it, right? Where is it? There it is. It's here. It's a bit of a waste of a big battery, but you know what? Oh wow, no, this this <laughs> This can keep going much, much higher. I had no idea the big battery okay, no, I'm not having that. Um I I'll do the fight again, it's fine. I just didn't think it would make it up. Guess we're doing this again. Yeah, I wish you could put it away. I don't know why they don't let it. What's the trench? This is almost like a Talus fight. What happened to the treasure chest? It's not here this time. Unless it's saved when I got the treasure chest, maybe that's why. remove blocks yeah and you can send them back I remove one like this all right and then you go unfortunately Shit. This is going worse than before. <laughs> For this part especially, you just grab the middle. Ah! Oh! Now I'm loading. I'm not losing two. I did this without taking damage before. I blame the rockets. Even though I use hot air balloons. Damn it. Okay, I'm trying too hard. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, you know what it is as well? I just realized. Clothing soft. Wait, did I take a photo of it? I did, okay. Just making sure. Oh my god, really? Ah, oh. okay, I'm gonna stop trying to be so gimmicky. <laughs> I'm trying to fight in style and it's just not working. Okay, uh, where's my attack up? After seeing the pizza in this game, Link, what are you doing? I got pizza tonight, so... If I see any more pictures of pizza in this game, it's not gonna make me hungry. Cool that this one's more of a damn it. Talus style fight. With bananas? No, I'm not in Sweden. It's like it's pepperoni pizza, but then they put like this garlic oil thing on top. So it's almost like having garlic bread and pepperoni pizza. It's great. Hey! It, I mean, it doesn't weird me out the concept of banana and pizza. Because. I mean, growing up, like, a breakfast food had was, uh, like, plantains and milk. So... I think just the thing that words me out about the Swedish banana pizza is just that it's banana and curry. That's the part where I'm like... Yeah, fried plantains are good. Shoot him, chillin'. And I'll do it. That's all I had to do. I'll use the claymore this time. Has anyone tried pizza with banana on it <laughs> that isn't from Sweden? Just out of curiosity. No? Huh. 
I can see someone here making a dessert pizza with banana, but again, it's just... It's the part where it just has curry on it, that's... I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. See, I think the smarter thing to do here was to use the rockets. If it was running out of fuel, just use rockets. Sure, but you call them pancakes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've had pancakes with banana. It's not a pizza, though. Oh, you mean pancakes. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, they're a form of pancake, I guess. I don't think French people would be happy to hear the comparison. It's just like, what? No. Pancakes are dirty American food. Crepes are much more intricate. Granted, they are harder to make, but... Conceptually, it's a form of pancake. See, but this is going to run into problems. Where are they? This was the smarter way to do it. This should make it. Ooh. Will it? No, I need I need to get a rocket out. Or two. <laughs> Gotta be quick with this installation. Okay, careful. Wait for it. Okay, too far! <laughs> I was not expecting it to go that high. What is this? Another old map, okay. I love maps. something good. Ah, it's just one ruby. Okay, uh... Let me look around. So then the only other thing is just a little star 
island behind me. Yeah. And then that's more or less everything. There's a little star island. There. You know, I never really liked pancakes. I know that might come as a shock, but my opinion changed when I had buttermilk ones for the first time. Then I was like, okay, no, this this is how you're supposed to have them. But before that, I was like, eh, I don't know what the big deal is. It was like buttermilk pancakes and then Nutella. You gotta make buttermilk pancakes. Well, I mean, I guess we just went with the cheapest <laughs> growing up. But then, yeah, once went and had breakfast at a place that did them properly. Buttermilk pancake stream? What would that even involve? Just eating them? I don't have the setup for that. I need, like, a pancake camera. <laughs> I mean, if you want to have one in spirit and just be like, alright, eat pancakes, sure. The only thing I've done is just open Pokemon cards, and even that was, like, a bit of a pain. It was not ideal. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Yeah, no. I think we're done with the sky in this area. <laughs> but you know, here's, here's the thing about that. Okay, so... Let's say, for some reason I'm doing a stream where I'm like, yo, let's eat some pancakes. How's that, like, the logistics? I know I'm overthinking it here. It's okay. Just hear me out. The logistics of it are, I'm in Australia, right? So someone's gonna be eating pancakes for dinner, or like at 2 in the morning. Unless I'm eating pancakes at night. <laughs> like, one or the other's gonna happen. You know what? I may as well do that. And then it gives me an easy way to get back up to the plateau. have them for dinner, you'll have them for breakfast. But my dinner is at, like, 6 o'clock, right? It's 9 o'clock now. What would the time be if I was to eat dinner at 6? I'd have to be having pancakes at, like, 11 o'clock at night. For it to be somewhat feasible. Yeah, are you really gonna get up at 4 a.m.? It's like, you're gonna have that scene from the Rugrats, where Stu gets up at 3 in the morning to make chocolate pudding for Angelica. Except, it's like, what are you doing up? Um, uh, making pancakes. Why are you making pancakes? 
because the stream uh, across the world in Australia is eating them now, and I have to eat them. Have a late dinner. I can't do that. If I have a late dinner, I will be so... I'll be wanting to go to bed at like 10. <laughs> if I do that. It's not... I, I can't hold out that long. If I haven't eaten by 8, I, I will be in bed by 9. about eight but i'll be in bed by nine <laughs> if i eat at eight i'll be in bed by nine there won't be a stream afterwards i'll be like nah i'm too tired i'm going to bed They both need to... Hang on, let's see. Okay, grab it quickly. The only, the only other option is for me to eat an early dinner. Eat an early dinner. And then eat at one in the morning again. That's the only option. There's no way I'm having a late dinner, it's just not gonna work out. An early dinner is easier. Oh, what the... Alright, but like... Okay. I will sleep like an angel if I eat pancakes at one in the morning. I think if anything, it'll make me stay up a bit longer. This is clearly not the way it's supposed to get sold, but... Almost. <laughs> Come on, I can do this. I've, I've done this before. Rewind. Grab it. Shift it upwards. Release. Wait, why isn't this higher? This was higher before! <laughs> what? What did I do? Oh, because I grabbed this? Oh, no shit. I guess that makes sense. Okay, that should do. Yeah, it works, it works. Up. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. I wouldn't call this broken. This is just another way to solve the, the puzzle. Alright. 
See, if it, it even makes a little sound effect where it's like, yeah, good job. You did it. You solved the puzzle. Tomorrow I gotta make time to play Banjo-Kazooie as well. I got the Nintendo 64 on my desk, so it's all hooked up. The one thing that it is, for some reason, I, I could not figure it out, but it is extremely loud. Like, I have to turn down the volume. <laughs> it's unbelievably loud. It, it's not... It doesn't distort the audio, but for some reason it is at least twice as loud as the Switch. I don't know why. I, I tried messing around with the settings for it, but it's just like, nope, just super fucking loud. Were all consoles in the 90s just loud? I don't know. I had headphones on, I turned it off, and then it's the, the music that comes on, it was just super loud. Okay, but I have a way back up here. Oh, and... You know what? They wanted me to go to the Temple of Time. I should do that now. But yeah, I'll play it before this tomorrow. We'll see what we can do. I'm impressed with the image quality. The main thing is I can use... Why is my battery draining? First time I beat one. Whoa, what the fuck? stamina. Oh, man. Keep us up to date on the pancake party. The gloom sword. Just, just ignoring the elephant in the room. 
Holy crap. It will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Double-edged sword. Demon King bow. The higher your maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. That that bow just seems amazing. Alright, first victory against that thing. That dude, that was that was awesome. <laughs> it was intense. Not a hard fight, but still it's not what I was expecting. Those things are so stressful. <laughs> I guess for it to be a party, it has to be more than two people. I have three that's more than two. I know. Otherwise, it's just me making pancakes at one in the morning, which... It's not exactly the worst, but... <laughs> uh, what'd you do on Friday night? Well, I made pancakes at one in the morning. I'm looking a little bit around here while I'm here. Oh, yeah, it's this thing. Okay. Really? Can I try something? Now what? Let's just see if this works. I, I've been curious about this. Like if I. I'll I'll eat the hit. Ah, oh, he destroyed it. Right, I'm using too strong of a weapon for this. Oh! Oh shit, I needed that. It's okay, I'll just chop another one down. It's fine. Low key on like my dating profile, it's gonna be instead of long walks on the beach, it'll be pancakes at one in the morning. Uh, 
can just attach? No, it needs to be a little bit higher. It worked. I do like the nuance. They, they are pretty fun. Hmm. Is that a... A traveler or a Yiga person? Let's see. Who's our next member? Probably Yiga. Wow, a meeting here must be fate. You know, I really like your look. So much that I'm officially offering you a place in the fan club I founded. For who? Master Koga. He's got... yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. There's way worse than dating profiles. Oh, I've seen. <laughs> I have friends that share some of the ones they've come across, and some of them, the, they're kind of... I just... I, I don't understand how people like this exist in real life. I'll just start. I'll just list my gaming achievements. Yeah, not to brag, but I, you know, glitched his Breath of the Wild 13 times. <laughs> these, these treats just, they get me every time. Because I don't expect them. Oh, come on, really? Three? Is this going to subvert expectations, or is this... Nope, okay. I mean, that's nice. It's, I guess, a throwback. My hobby can be like impersonating Wario. Or making noises like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> eh, well, would you not want to go on a date, eh? Oh, yes! Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I put this down for a reason. <laughs> Wario Tornons include garlic. Yes! Rub it all over my body. Get all sensual. Yes! Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, yep. I'm gonna be alone forever. <laughs> I need more of these parts. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, right. There's a statue here as well. Alright. 
Wait, this is wait, this was something else. What was it? I thought this was you who hear my voice. Oh. I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop into the chasms. Drop them into the chasms and deliver the stones to me who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this and the reward will be yours. Let me read that again. I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Then deliver the stones to me, where I dwell in the depths below this temple. Did I get the Dark Link tunic? Uh, I haven't gone back because I haven't found many more bubble gems. I was expecting. Uh, hold on. <laughs> this is the level of distractions in this game. Nostalgic fabric. Okay. That's nice. Uh, which I guess if we're talking nostalgia, then there should be a Korok up here. I don't want to register. <laughs> it, it, I would turn, it would say examine, I would press it, it would do nothing. Okay, uh... There we go. Do you know what commercial I saw today? For the first time in a long time that I completely forgot about and blocked it from memory because it was so horrible. And it's not because we have it here in Australia either. It's just bad. But Wendy's had a commercial for this chicken sandwich thing. Now, I we don't have the Wendy's you have in America here in Australia. But I'm going to say that I, I am boycotting Wendy's as a result of that commercial. <laughs> Despite not them doing business in Australia, they... Oh my god, that commercial. Trees are thinner this time around. No, but so I don't like using the word cringy or cringe because it's just it's a term that 
is just used way too often these days instead of expressing an actual opinion. But, man, it just, like, you... You clench a little. <laughs> just watching it, it's like, oh, no, ugh, ugh, ugh. It is an old commercial, yes. What, was, ugh, what sand was it for? I hate to bring it up, but like, hang on. But this was a this was a while ago, and the first time I saw it, oh. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. I I hear I hear the dragon, but it's it's up high. There's nothing I can do about that. That's why I didn't react. Um but the video on YouTube, if you want to look it up, it's... This is the title. The fucking Wendy's Mima commercial. Original, in brackets. So for those watching later and you want to know what, what video I'm talking about, it's that one. Because I'm pasting I'm pasting a link in YouTube. In, in Twitch, sorry. For those watching on YouTube later, if you want to know what I was talking about, just punch that in. It's not even- I, I can't watch the whole ad. <laughs> just- it just- you'll know it when you get up to it after that point. I can't watch it any further. I can watch the first 15 seconds of that commercial. Um, what's about to shatter? The axe is about to shatter. I mean, let's take this as a hammer. Oh. Shit. You remember that commercial? Ugh! Yeah, it's the, pretty much the 11 second mark. It's just immediately. Immediately. <laughs> That's what I was saying. We don't have Wendy's in Australia, but they're blacklisted for me. I'm not walking into one of them. And I love my, my chicken. Particularly that of, like, the fried variety. It's great. But no. Ugh. <laughs> The way that dude delivers the line. You gotta hope that the actor's intent was to be just the, the worst possible way you could say that. You would think. So, you know, I, I need a climb, and, uh, it's raining. That's... yep. So glad they brought this back into this game. I'm so glad they were insistent and stuck to their guns. No, there's nothing wrong with that. This is... Yigo.
there is armor now. It's, I have one piece of that armor. It's not 100% resistant, it just sometimes works. Yeah, I need to do more of the quests. They, sh they should have just removed it from the game. <laughs> just... I keep making the analogy that, like, if Nintendo were firefighters, they would turn up to your house with just this giant box of ice cubes with various different sizes, and then just give that to you and leave, instead of putting out the fucking fire. Good. Good. It's, it's, look, look at, look at it, it's, fuck! <laughs> it's slipping. Slowly but surely it was moving. That's why I was falling, it's not that I'm incompetent, it's the log was moving. There we go. For fuck's sake. I'm gonna die. I should just get a second one. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like fucking Sideshow Bob in the rake. Banana. Who's there? Wait, you! You're Link! Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're getting the other one getting ambushed. Oh, really? Chulin! Once again, Chulin. It's just MVP. Ow! Oh. Forgot about that. Thanks, friend. If I keep knocking on this door, it's just gonna... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on, really? Yeah, okay. Okay, just in case this happens again. I'm working as fast as I can. Please just give me a little more time. 
Wait, you're not one of them. Ah? You chase off the Giga clan? You mean I can get out of here? Hurrah! Those Giga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Me? Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Hmm, I don't want this mask. I made it fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Say, would you take this? Oh, cool. Oh. That thing is decidedly not my style, but it's yours. It's more power to you. Okay. Her name is Nerba. She's beautiful with a fashion sense. I rivaled mine. She's probably at a stable somewhere, oh. I think, maybe. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me to her. Take care now. No, because I, I... See, I did something similar before. What is this? The Eager Bulletin. Confidential updates from the hideout. Item 1. Our research division had developed new vehicles. The Gloom Dredger and the Hover Doom MK3. If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact the member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2. It is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. Okay. Yeah. What? It's thanks, Thor. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try it. I need this to get out anyway. But no, we're gonna... We're going to get creative. We're on the map am I now. Uh, Great Plateau. Where the, uh... The King's Shack was in Breath of the Wild. I've been wanting to test this out in terms of usability in combat. Let's see. I don't have another axe. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Kinda. did trip him over. I think if I was to attach a rock to it and make it a hammer, I, it could it could probably work. It does do damage. Okay. This is just a mild curiosity. I think I could get it to work. Oh. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Okay. I got my hammer. <laughs> Sir, don't interrupt.
hang on. They're in the way currently. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Just tank it. Okay, try it. It needs to go lower. <laughs> it's knocking them away. Uh, that's funny. Okay, uh, I'm done fucking around with it. I think it needs to be a heavier object. But I got it to do damage once before, and I was like, wait, does this work? Wait, your memory are like butterflies. Butterflies? Haven't heard that expression before. I've heard goldfish. Going up! This is just to help me get around easier. Not that I'm convinced I'm going to get anything out of this. Okay, so it said it's it's eyes. What does it mean by uh, boulder? It's either a metaphorical eye or a literal eye. This blade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta stop. I will make, I will stop making that noise by the time I'm done playing this game. No, it's a literal lie. Okay, I dropped one eye. Now the question is, do I go down there already? I'll go down there first. Nope, it updated. Shit. Oh well, too late now. Why'd the music get all serious? <laughs> Maybe I should just leave it for now. Let's not mess with it. All right, go back up. Oh. Uh, oh. No, but that's underground. Um, I guess that's the closest. Uh... <laughs> 
This isn't what I was planning to do today. Again, this game is just... You're going to do one thing and then it's just you find yourself doing something else. It pretty much started from the moment I got here and then did the Phantom again and fight. I just have not gone back to what I was doing. Again, I'm getting distracted, but I should check into the Shrine of Resurrection. Like, there might be something there now. And that's Yiga. I'll take these, though. This. Oh, Ugh. okay. <laughs> oh. Didn't think it would be anything too valuable. So it's said somewhere near the chasms, the eyes exist. to reach my friend. Help. I think the two most ingenious quests in this game, the Koroks and, uh, well, the Koroks that you have to help to reach their friends and uh, the person you have to help put up a sign. Well, what? Where? Oh, yeah. oh wow, that's uh, that's quite the distance. I mean, it is nice to get the two seeds, you get to be inventive. This, 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 but it gives a, it gives you a steering wheel, but nothing to attach it to. It's just BYO device. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to waste things, especially not when it's raining. I saw someone came up with a diagram on how to make a trebuchet for the Koroks. Just. what you need to do to make a trebuchet. The key that's missing is you need a counterweight. 
So that's why mines didn't work, I guess, the catapult thing. It needed a counterweight. It wasn't exactly a spoiler, but it was just like... I guess making a trebuchet from popsicles, and it's just taking those concepts. Except... You put a Korok on one end. So, pretty helpful. Oh, oh yeah, his friend is right outside the Shrine of Resurrection. And the, uh, the most common one I've seen is just the Korok Crucifixion. Because we're all heathens. <laughs> it's just... So many different variants of it. I think that's enough for another another slot. I guess since I'm here, I may as well check out. Yeah, so the blue piece here, so the cave is still here. Spring. Come, mate. Other than that, not a whole lot else here. Just decided to tear down everything that was in here. I guess. Why was it going off? But it wasn't above me. Okay, so. What? What was this? The noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Your life ends today. <laughs> I didn't fall for it, I just knew it. Oh, it's just you. What's that about my life ending today? Authorized verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. 
I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there, therefore I will continue my work from here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mined and processed there once. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Nice. What's it? That's... Beam cycle? What the fuck is a beam cycle? I'm curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? No. Auto build will not be able to manufacture an object if its component parts are missing. But Zonite may be able to help this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep in mind they are temporary parts created by the auto build ability. You cannot use them for other purposes. They will vanish when you disassemble the creation they were intended for. Oh. That is, that is cool. So I can just build that regardless. Very cool. Where's the Shrine of Light? Oh, I think I know what it is. Or not. What? <laughs> is there is that one here or have gone up too far. No? It's still going off. Is there something here or not? Because I looked directly outside and there wasn't anything. I, I don't see anything and it doesn't look like there's something I can interact with. Probably pointing to something else, I don't know. But I'm wasting time. Oh. Yeah, I think it's somewhere over there. Just that's. There's a cave over there. I can see it from here. It's a bit deceiving. Oh no. Ooh, shit. Quick, quick, quick. Ah! <laughs> Don't 
don't fall in the river. Yep. Your amiibo is out for delivery. Which one did you get? The one for this game. The new one? River of the Dead. Waterfall cave. The new one. Yeah. I use my brother's one. You just get the paraglider material from it. And then once a day you can get stuff. the shield. Ugh. I'm good. Okay, so this was the thing I was looking for. It was just false positive. <laughs> I got so distracted here. Ordered the cards from the older ones that they're coming in a few weeks. Ah, okay. I mean, you can get. Oh, I've already put the designs. But all those fancy designs. I still forget the the electrified effect is still a thing in this game. do one card per day. You can no you can do each card once per day. I mean, they're nice little statue things, they're just toys. people can use them too. Yeah, they're not restricted by any means. Genius. I mean, I use my brother's one to get the paraglider pattern, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
Gee, I sure like not doing things the way the game wants me to do it. Shit! Oh, that's annoying. I couldn't see what I was doing. I'm surprised the electrocution is that mild. To be honest. I'm doing. Trust, trust, trust the process, chat. What, 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 Link? doing of course mind you this is being a little weird now should not be doing this Oh shit. Free one. Ah. Eat, consume food. Why does it. The physics in this are so jank sometimes, I swear. Just be patient, just be patient. Just bear it a little longer, Link. This cube is too small now. Instead of doing the puzzle the way they want me to, I'm insisting on this. Ah, the camera angle fucks me every time. No, that worked.
I got it. It's fine. Yeah! Convolution! <laughs> Does not use the word resourcefulness. Just says that I've done well. Anyway, for those trying to build a Korok trebuchet, I refer you to this time. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that might that might be why. Mine didn't work. Oh. There we go. Uh, okay, hold on. So I did this one, so I gotta go to this one. Which is that way, right? No. Then it's... That way. Okay. photo of an ice case. Thank you, Chulin. <laughs> I might not like the wind power more than Ravali's Gale, but damn it, is Chulin not the most useful thing they've added. Just the usability in battle and how many times just takes care of business. Oh. They made up for Ravali being an ass. Yeah. At the start, it was a little concerning because Chulin looked like he had a bit of an attitude. So I was thinking, oh no, is this just another Ravali? But no. It was not. Hold on. I just realized that rock could have been a Korok. And I mean, Turbo just didn't... Like, I get that Turbo was kind of under pressure and... I don't know making the best of a bad situation, but it just didn't really have that much personality. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole. What the that? I finished them off, it's just... 
dude's gonna wander away. What happened? There's an arrow. There's another arrow. Oh, 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 oh. Not a hot spring. Why is it pointing to the middle? Oh, no. Do I need an ice emitter? Okay, hang on. Do I have one? I have flame. I don't have ice. This is the best I can do. Does it float? Not really. Okay, this is the best I can do. Alright. So hang on, do this. And then bring it back. Okay. Nothing here. Ah, oh, shit! It's there. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Except now it's gonna. Ah, ah. That's wow. That's that's kind of uh yeah. That one's a bit of a dick move. I just love how we basically become Mario here. Okay, not this. One remains. Uh, so I've done the ones and hang on, which ones have I done? I did that one, right? Yeah, so I've done that one. Okay, it's at the Eastern Abbey. Where all the ruins used to be. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know what hit him. This looks like a pine cone. All the difficult enemies are on here. Can't be bothered. What's going on? Is that? <laughs> We're gonna have to carry him across the river. Ah. Where is your friend? Yep.
I'm gonna have to ride this thing too. But I feel like this is the only way we're doing it. Just a question of will this float? I guess it doesn't have to float. Alright. Yeah! <laughs> Made it. That worked. Alright. Finally one that <laughs> works without hurting the car up really. Like, that was smooth. Had to get one right. Oh, whoops. The only thing is now I'm on this side of the river and I don't want to be on this side of the river. miss the bombs to some degree. Just being able to take care of all those things with just the one rune. What are the odds? That, is this still here? I forget why they got rid of them, but I still miss them. Is this really going to be a case of Breath of the Wild? Because this was one of the ones I missed in this area. still. Gammy. Is it cold there? Yeah, it's just rainy and miserable. It's gonna be like that all weekend. I mean, cold by Australian standards. It's not cold by European or any anywhere where there's a cold climate. But why is this so difficult? I'll oh, piss off. Yeah, that'll have to do. The Korok was here in Breath of the Wild, so it would have it would have shown up. 
Yeah, it would have shown up. Okay, it's not here. I just had to be sure. Alright, this will still work. Spicy. It doesn't make you want to do anything. Yeah, you're a Jaeger. Like, I, I don't even... I don't even need to guess. Start the storm. I'm not wearing anything metallic, am I? No. 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 Okay. This looks like a lake. Okay, I can finally make my way to the last one. Wait, didn't I do this one? I did this one. Oh, don't tell me. I have to... Uh-oh. Don't tell me I have to follow it already. That's kind of annoying, because that's not what the instructions said. What did it say? What? So it has shown that I've thrown three. But why did that one reappear? Alright. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just these distractions. I'll ride this up just to be able to get, get there quicker, I guess. 
That's it, I'm getting off it. Okay, where's this last one? Away. This game is such an ass. Okay. That's all of them now. Carry them through the depths to the source of the voice. Alright. <laughs> I got scared there for a sec. Okay. The source of the voice? I don't know who that is, though. Though it's said, hold on. Where's Temple of Time? Temple of Time ruins us here. So if we do this, and then go down one, and then do that, that's where it wants me to go. right okay that way That is frightening. I'm not sure I have this correct.
Rose Tsai. Beneath the Temple of Time Ruins. Yeah, so it's wherever I marked on the map there. Oh. I think it's the structure over here. That would make sense. It's kind of annoying that I have to get all four of them. This is a... Uh, yeah, this is a hell of a fetch quest. I don't, I don't know, like, I, I'm indifferent about the underground at the moment, it's just... This quest in particular, I don't know. Just drop sources of light, it's not too bad. others. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, let's let's mess with the creepy statue. Sure, there'll be no ramifications for this one. Keeps going down. Okay, 
what's the next one? The next one... Was that our last known location? There's one up to the north again. This is this is probably the biggest hassle I've seen so far, as far as a quest goes. I mean, I guess you could build a vehicle to make it go quicker, but it's... I don't know, man. <laughs> this is... This is quite the fetch quest. And I thought the Koroks were a bit of a fetch quest. We should be right next to it. There it is. Well, I have enough for the outfit now. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I see. It does give you a vehicle here. But look at what's in the way, like... It's not like I can start using it right away. We'll get it over here first. Is this even going to work? I feel like this isn't even going to work. Like, I need to do this to it, almost. In the middle. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I feel a bit better about this one. What is that? A light? It's a light. I don't think I've ever used a light before. There we go. Masterful vehicle. I almost dropped it on top of me. But look at look at the effort I've had to go to. Wait, where is it? Where, where is it? I'm getting this while I'm here. Where is it? It disappeared. I was worried for a sec. I swear if it despawns what I just built. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little annoyed. Okay, it's over there still. Watch it on. Oh. Ahem. <laughs> Watch it on. There we go. So. Can, can you guess where I fucked up? I could have walked it over in this time. <laughs> this was not worth the time investment. It doesn't speed this up. Like the time it took me to assemble that, I could have walked it over. It's a cool car. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm supposed to have more battery power at this point. That might be the other thing, I just haven't really, uh, yeah, gotten stronger, but it's fine. I'm just glad my little Korok transfer thing worked.
I don't know about this quest. To go to four different spots to put them down here, and now I have to go to those four spots again to retrieve them. This had better be something significant. I'm just saying. If it's, like, I get a gem out of this or something, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. How have things been? Uh, they've uh, been. They have just been. Yeah. Maybe money. Eh, yeah. I mean, I need money, but it's kind of a lame reward. Okay, that's two. This is what, like, the quest just being money was the reason I really did not care about them in Breath of the Wild. So it's nice that there's variety and they have a bit more meaning this time around, but... You do get the ones every now and then that are just... Oh, it's just money. make me waste that single one to prove, oh yeah, you can spend these. I would have enough for the armor now. Okay, uh... I guess this one's closer, right? I think. I think it's on low ground. Where is it? You got your first golden apple after 50 hours. What? Dude, I have nine of them. <laughs> I've even just neglected to pick some up. Like, I've seen plenty. No, I think it's just up this hill. I think we're okay. But I haven't been farming apples either. I've just been walking around. I haven't been actively looking for them. You make it sound like, yes, <laughs> that's all I've been doing. I haven't been actively looking for him. This is just me going around, like... Yeah. I mean, look at my map. It doesn't really indicate that I've been farming anything.
первым челом. What? That was a head. That was straight in the head. Gosh. I just have the worst luck. Sometimes, just as I'm about to do something. Okay. Well... I need to get it across this gap. Let me have a look around first. Maybe there's a plane or something I can use. What am I? Oh, yeah. No, here. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> We have the auto build functionality. So what's the schematic? Hang on. It's three. Okay, I have three. We have batteries as well, so that's good. Alright. Uh, that one? Useful feature is useful. Is there a steering wheel? There is a steering wheel. throw the weight off it. Sure. I don't want it to mess up the balance. Alright, let's just see how it works. I mean, I guess <laughs> this might work. We'll see. Yeah, stand up and yeah, that that that's that looks safe. I, I believe in my construction. I don't care. I'm, I'm just... <sighs> Alright. Here we go. It's working surprisingly well. Okay, not gonna lie, I am impressed that this worked. Wow. I thought it was going to be off balance. I just thought that it would tip forward because of me standing there. But it was fine. Oh, it's...
One more. I'll probably remove this marker. Don't need it. Okay. Yeah, so let's keep messing with the ominous giant statue that has four eyes. Oh, but see, these are the different statues they were talking about. Which, if I follow these, will lead me to the next part, but I'm not doing that yet. Is it behind me? It might be behind me. What's that? Jeez. <laughs> Go away. Oh, no. Is it really on low ground? I'm going to have to use a hot air balloon or something to get back up. I haven't really done much flying, but I mean, it's all right. I'm sure it gets more fun once you have more battery power. Just right now, what I have it for is pretty limited in scope. Oh no, we're riding minecarts, it would appear. What? Is it? Should be here. <laughs> Hello? Stone? Eyeball, where are you? Oh. No, but see, that's the hole I dropped it down. Go away. Where is it? <laughs> Did it get stuck? It should just be just... <laughs> Where is it? Oh, come on, man. This was already just long enough. What? Does anyone see it? This only happens to me. I don't want to go back up and... <laughs> There's no way I could have gone flying that far away. Whereas... Oh, that's not fair, man. It's like... 
There's no quick way to get this, go back up either. Okay, let me try saving and I'll load and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Maybe it'll fix it. I don't know. Cool. Cool game, Nintendo. <laughs> it's not here. I have to go back up. Let's just have one last look around, but I don't- I really don't see it anywhere. I feel like once you drop it down the hole, it should just be in a fixed position. But it, the other ones respawn, that, that was the weird part. The other ones did respawn. Well, I tried. Okay, uh... I guess it's not- it's not too bad, it's just... <laughs> this, uh, this only happens to me. Come on. Wait, there it is. I'm positive I put it in as well. It wouldn't have told me to go down if I didn't throw it down. Back up here. Why? It was, it was kind of rolling around for a bit as well. What? It... Okay, I'm gonna have to follow it down. Okay, following it down this time. Does anyone see it? Oh my god, I see it. <laughs> I wonder if it was there the whole time. Okay, we're good, we're good. As long as I have found it. 
I have to make a mine part. Or do I? Maybe this will work already. mess with this any further. What? Why not? Stop! Ugh. One sec. There we go, they should vanish. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Why are they... Still detecting me? Hang on. There we go. Oh no, yeah, now the AI is smart. Thanks, children. I wonder if it's because of children, just a sec. I'm not moving. There's no sound. Why are they detecting me? Smell? They don't have smell. The style enemies were just so annoying in the previous game and they haven't changed. It's just... They're not a challenge, they just seem to pop up any time you're about to do something. I love how they try to make stealth a thing and then they're still like, nah. Just... Okay. I'm gonna have to deal with them. It's just so annoying. Can I get back to what I was doing, or are you going to pop up more skeletons out of nowhere for no reason, other than to just be annoying? I'm pretty much done with it. I just needed to put this on. Okay.
I don't know. I think it worked. Is this where I need to be? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Do I have to do this again? I think I have to do this again. I guess just take it and put two more batteries on it. Look, look, <laughs> there's something reacting to me through the wall. Now, I know it's probably a sound thing, but that should not happen. Yes, challenge the player. Spawn enemies that take one hit each. Just to delay them. Are we done? I think a part of this is fatigue from Breath of the Wild, just because... Oh man, the style enemies just interrupted me so many times. Just, it always seemed to be when I was about to do a Korok or when I was about to climb something, just always... Right before I was about to do something, they just seemed to appear. I didn't stick it on! Shit! Recall! Recall! Come back! Oh, but see, this is a waste because the batteries are gone now. <laughs> what on earth are those things? Did I stick it? I stuck it on. Well, I mean, it's going. I don't know how far it's gonna get. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> oh no. I wonder if it made it. If I've just screwed myself. Do you think I made it? I think I just screwed myself. Ah! Oh, I put it back where it was. The autosave, I think, will hopefully fix this. Please don't make me do all this again. Is it here? There's nothing. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Wow, that's so annoying. Like, really, I can't keep track of what I was writing or what I had near my character. Uh, cool. I'm gonna have to go back now.
<sighs> okay. Oh, there's a chest here. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's my consolation prize. I'm gonna be like a full Christmas tree. nice because you don't have to light it up I guess okay so I mean this is my consolation <laughs> that I get the pants I would not have gotten them if I didn't have to walk back I can't even save, that's... Because loading doesn't keep the thing there. And I have to build the whole thing again. Okay, no rockets this time, just... Oh, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> okay. So why did, why couldn't it have done this the first time? <laughs> it's, it's gaslighting me. <laughs> Where was that the first time? That's what should have happened the first time. Oh man. It's, it's been a long week, chat. It really has. Is there another battery anywhere? Where does this one go? I feel like I shouldn't take those ones. Those ones look like they go off. Oh. It's the weekend for me. It is. Okay, it's fixed. Go. I mean, I may as well keep this, right? Like, get some more uh, battery power. Because this wasn't completely depleted. This time it's sealed in. And then after all of this, it's just a single gem. That's the reward.
Okay, this is where I need to be. Turn this off for a minute. I'm afraid to just get this out of my sight just in case it despawns. Making that same mistake again. <laughs> Don't care, it's fine. You have returned to me my eyes, the vessels of my spirit. We can now speak properly. In ancient times my eyes were stolen and sealed away. For eons I have awaited one who would hear my voice and return them to me, and here you are. As promised, I will repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. Oh. Heart container. Dude. I want health, man. Okay, that was definitely worthwhile. A quest with pretty big significance. Your wish is granted. Make an offering. Offer pose to me. Oh, it's the... Th oh, okay. Right, it's this. I take even count of my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the tunic of the depths. If you desire it, make a suitable offering. Whoa! Gloom resistance. Whoa. This seems... Yeah. I got a... Uh, I got a choice between a heart container and a stamina vessel. So I picked a heart container. And then this was made available. So this was a very significant reward. It's the largest reward I've seen. That's pretty neat. Okay, I mean, given how long this took, yeah. <laughs> or is this now? Go to the Temple of Time at the Great Plateau. And that's where the quest will start. But I got, yeah, this thing that gives gloom resistance now. So that's cool. Not a bad outfit as well. And I got mining pants as well from looking around. So it's pretty neat.
Yeah, okay, that was that was good. Very long quest, but it's very worthwhile. Um let's go do that shrine. The mining pants, um, when you take the the minecart, when you're taking the one up in the minecart, when you make the first stop, it's near there. There's like a chest, so you can find the pants there. Okay, I guess we don't need light anymore, so let's go back to Sneaky Sneak. Bomb. Cart. Figure the wall, I'm here, just... Fill it in, fill in the empty space. <laughs> I'm not going to get to Elden tonight. But I did some stuff of significance, so... This is what this game was missing in... Really? <laughs> in terms of quests. Just... Ones that had some, some meat to it. Wait, where is this one taking me? Oh, this is just taking me back. No, I'm good. Oh, it makes a different sound as below. That's cool. Okay, so now I don't need to rethink it. But yeah, the quest took like half an hour, <laughs> so it. I'm glad it was something massive. Building with logs. I thinking here? <laughs> I guess. Guess there's no wrong answer here. This is getting more and more chaotic. I know what time it is.
I never took my break. Nah, because today I'm gonna do a long one, but then I gotta head off soon. So that's the trade-off. My break is, uh, I gotta do stuff. sure it wants me to do something at the end, but... Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, now we just ride up to victory. You could have enough stamina to just swim across this. Oh no, but there's a tide. Okay, never mind. There's a tide. <laughs> I see. I'm going to hope that chest was nothing <laughs> major. How many hearts am I up to? I'm up to 12? Yeah, 12. I hear the chips. Oh, it's another one of these. Yo! I've been hearing some chirps and warbles from my little birds. They say some regular guests of the stable are late to arrive. Very late. The chef here, Gotta, was going to meet... With them to learn a new recipe, one that Princess Zelda taught them. Hmm, my keen reporter instincts say something's wrong here. Gotta has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved the whole time. Mm. Let's see. It's not unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? But what if they're unable to? They're coming to share a recipe from Princess Zelda too. Hmm, that could be part of this. These chirps and warbles are worth looking into. Gourmet has gone missing. Ah. Something isn't right. Orga 
Argus, and the rest should would have would have to cross that bridge to get here. But what's going on? Oh. Didn't notice you there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were expecting. But it's well past when they said they'd be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. They've always crossed Allen Bridge in the past when they were coming here. I figured I'd keep an eye on the bridge. I'd catch sight of them eventually. The guests are all gourmets. Their leader, a chef named Agus, has taught me a lot about cooking. Oh. They were all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. If Agus and the others have tents, then maybe they're taking the trip nice and slow, camping along the way. Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, first... Oh. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, so the game is like, oh look, there's a treasure chest on the wall, you better build something. You better build something, that's the only way you can get the treasure chest on the wall. Um, eh, okay, well, that, that was that. I think I've gotten the Korok on this bridge. There's always one, so... Where is this one? Ah, there it is. Definitely have enough for another upgrade. It's the president. There's some. Ooh, I don't have an axe. Okay, that works. That's perfect. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That was an easy one. Ah! Okay. <laughs> ah! This dude's been a constant source of income and food. Okay, I would assume that's the people that we need to go see. And let me guess, we're gonna have to drive them.
uh, uh, I think animal meat, maybe, right? Meat. Who suggested monster meat? What? Help, please. Princess, salt the recipe. As written, don't, uh, don't improvise. Meat and rice bowl. Raw meat, rice, salt. That's it. Okay, let's go morning. Meat, rice, salt. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> She was listening. Who's stealing my recipe? The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. <laughs> uh, being a little dramatic there, aren't you, princess? It's just a recipe. Aww. Oh, I have to make the recipe. I guess, uh, meat, rice, salt. Aww. Hand over the meal. Ah, oh, that smell. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please, please. I need to eat it. <laughs> this, I recognize this flavor. Haha, <laughs> this is the uh, recipe Princess Zelda shared with us. Jut telly on die. Hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We are not doing well at all. Princess Zelda taught us how to cook this dish quite some time ago. He ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. I do remember now that she said we needed to follow the recipe exactly. Uh, uh, whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of real meat? Uh, that was me, I'm sorry. I was just curious what it would taste like. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster parts. Oh. The road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Now's not the time to sit and figure out the best practices for future dietary exploits. We've got to get to Riverside Stable. We're so late. I'm sure Gata has been worried about us. Ah. We really are grateful here for your help. Let me say, again, on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you use valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Rice. Mm. Salt. Mm. And meat. Oh, I got better meat for it. <laughs> We like cooking with every last bit of raw meat when we have it. You can use all of that to cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, we better get ready and head to Riverside Stable, since we plan to be there, well, before now. Uh. I have to get going. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. Mm. Well, if it isn't my partner. Ah. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chased down any leads at all? <laughs> what? They were right here? Too queasy to even move and you helped them get back on their feet again? Interesting. So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Just as expected, partner, Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Go on and add this to your nest egg. A recipe from Princess Zelda, perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Ah, the article almost writes itself. Almost. So long! Okay. Good timing.
Sometimes I feel like I hear a voice from coming from that well. Maybe it's just my imagination. Smell Karak seeds. Weapon. This dance is great. It's definitely a step up from the other one. Give me all of these arrows. The store is getting bigger and bigger. Let's get to 13 hearts. <laughs> Alright, I gotta leave it here for tonight. Chat. It's been a long week, but uh, I'm going to go kick back and chill for the rest of the evening. But we'll return tomorrow and continue this. But I'm also going to play some Banjo-Kazooie. So we'll do that tomorrow night. But in the meantime, as always, uh, you can watch more stuff on YouTube. So... Just uh, search for the channel over there or go to shambles.gg. has links to everything I have over there and other places. Hope you do check that out. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around till the end. And uh, consider clicking buttons and doing all that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching again, everyone. And uh, letting, my do letting me do my thing, as always. It's... Uh, it's nice to be able to unwind from a busy week in this way, so I do appreciate it. Anyway, uh, yeah, catch you tomorrow. I'm gonna head off and chill for the rest of the evening. Bye, chat. <laughs>